And welcome to a bit of a different video, although it is linked to the last video put up, which is the PG Star Pioneer, I think it was called, I don't know, the bootleg Lego kind of kit thing. Today, as you can see, I have a parcel. Yay! Isn't that fun? No. Um, inside is, I haven't seen them yet, uh, is some bootleg Marvel and DC related minifigures I found on eBay for a reasonably cheap price. Um, after ordering them, I actually checked around a bit, and it seems that there's two big companies that seem to be doing it from China, which is Daycool and uh, Shenyong, I think. There may be others as well, but those are the only two I've managed to find any information on. Anyway, from the looks of it, the sculpts and stuff and the moulds aren't too bad, and sort of, you know, the printing can be a bit off, but that's boot legs for you. So, I have 17, I think, in here, including five of like the bigger ones and uh, things. So, I'm going to open them up uh, on camera, obviously, and then I'll obviously construct them, because I think they're sort of, you have to construct them yourself. Also, as you'll see, I put witty, I put a little witty kind of thing on the package, boot Lego, because it's Lego, but it's boot leg. As you can see, there's... Ooh, I think this is Venom. Uh, possibly. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, they all come in like small bags. Ooh, that's the Hulkbuster, I believe. Uh, and that's the other part of the Hulk... Oh no, that's Juggernaut. Uh, let's see if I can get any smaller bags as well. Okay, yeah, see? So they come in little individual bags. I will ho Oh, that's Venom. Who was I talking about just now? That may have been grouped, actually. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I now look up the original listing because some of the characters I don't recognise. I'm assuming that DC, uh, my knowledge of DC characters, is pretty lacking, uh, admittedly. Um, but yeah, I recognise most of the minifigs, but one or two escape me, such as this woman with two guns. I'm assuming she's DC. So, I'm going to look at the eBay listing uh, before I come back just so I can confirm the names and if I can't actually work out who they are then yeah I'll make a guess so I shall uh, open all of them and construct them and I shall be right back in a second okay I'm back and as you can see they're all fully assembled and we'll go into detail of each of them so first we'll begin with plastic man now I don't know much about this guy I'll admit, um, he seems to have robbed a bank, or be, or he's generally obsessed with money or something. I'm not actually sure. Uh, let's just see if I can get, ah yes, I can get the hairpiece off, good. Because he is double printed. Now something I've noticed with these minifigures, some of them are printed, uh, like, one on each side of the head, and some of them aren't. Which makes me suspect that possibly... This is a mix of different, um, like, bootleg Lego minifig uh, creators, namely Deku and Shen Yong, I think, because, as well, if I may show you, there is a difference uh, in bags. Some of these come in like this sort of thicker plastic, like, foggier kind of thing, and some of them come in a cheaper clearer plastic bag which makes me assume that some of these are from one of the producers and some from the others but yeah um plastic man looks pretty cool i guess it's nice to have a dollar bill kind of th piece that i can always use for mocks or whatever and then we go on to bean the comic book version of bean as you can see comes with the i'm assuming that's an unofficial lego um Lego sort of accessory, I'm I'm assuming, I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever seen her in any of the sets. As you can see, he's only printed on one side, but he's got a metallic-y kind of strap on the, on the back of his head, I suppose. Um, and yeah, he's pretty cool, although if you notice, his torso is slightly larger than his legs. And his waist, which makes it feel a bit odd, but eh, whatever. And next up is Purple Batman. I think he came in an Arctic set, possibly. I'm not sure I don't collect Batman minifigures. As you can see, he comes with a silver bat around. Uh, his printing is very reminiscent of the 60s Batman show. And, uh, he, no, hang on. and his back is also printed and stuff. 
and comes with this uh, purple cape, which I really like, and purple cowl. Now, I tried removing his head, uh, his head, his headpiece earlier. Unfortunately, it's a very snug fit, and his head also comes off. But if you look there, you can see he has white eyes. On the minifigure's face is a printed face, and then a white kind of headband thing, which acts as uh, the whites of his eyes, which is a pretty cool little feature. Next up is regular Batman, uh, just in his black outfit. His face printing is the same. Can't remove the cowl, because it's too snug of a fit. His body printing is pretty damn cool and very intricate. And on the back as well, there's a lot of detail. Because of the black bat around. Um, and, well, he's basically just purple Batman, but black. And next up is who I realise to be Catwoman. Now, this doesn't much look like Catwoman to me, but then, admittedly, like the last time I saw Catwoman is in Dark Knight Rises. I don't read many Batman comics. And of the few I've read, I don't think she's appeared once. Um, I think that's just coincidental. But she also holds the same gun as Deadpool. It's just that Deadpool has a silver one, and as you can see, she has black ones. Uh, two of them, to be precise, but they seem to be the exact same mould. Deadpool, of course, is the official minifigure. I'm just showing you him here for comparisons. Um, comparison sake. And on to the last DC character, which is Green Lantern. I quite like Green Lantern, not gonna lie, uh, and I'm, you know, pretty pleased he was in this set that I got. Um, I'm not particularly sure how his accessories are meant to be set up, so I just made a weird green box thing, and I made that look a bit like his green ring, because um, generally Green Lantern tends to think up things like guns and knives and bear traps, which... You know, when you got the entirety of your imagination to make things up, he's not quite as impressive. Um, right, let me remove his hair piece. Oh, okay, that seems a bit too snug as well. Right, uh, that is one criticism with these uh, things, I must say. Is that hair pieces are very difficult to get off. Also, something I will point out here. It's difficult to tell on camera, but this leg here, his right, or our left... It's a lot looser than the other one, which is really bizarre. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's no great loss. I'm just going to display them, really. If I had bought these with a purpose to play them, maybe I'd be a bit uh, bit angrier, but I'm not. Uh, on to the Marvel ones now. We start with Electro, who's super cool. I, I love this Electro. Um, he looks... I think he's Ultimate Electro, I'm going to go out on a limb and say. Got really good body printing, front and back. It's got the lightning bits, which I think originally came in a Star Wars set from the Emperor. Um, but I may be wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments if you want. It's also got some leg printing, which is cool. Um, and yeah, the electrics, the electric bits are pretty cool. I've always wanted some. And I've also wanted a hood, which I haven't had until now. So it's, uh, it's a double whammy of things I wanted. Plus, I rather like Electro. Now on the electric theme, we also have Storm, as purple lightning, um, and a really cool cape bit, that sort of, that, if you can see, comes off her back and then around and, like, joins her arms. It's, uh, it's a super cool bit of material. It took me a minute or two to actually work out how to put her on. And as you can see here, she's looking very angry. There is another face, but, as with a lot of these, uh, when you try and take the hairpiece off, you decapitate them. Um... But, you know, the other face on Storm is, like, is less angry. And one minifigure I was super, super happy to get was the Collector. Love the Collector. As you can see here, his um, his accessory can be combined to make a sort of cylinder that has an Infinity Gem in it. Or at least that's where I made it up to be. Possibly it's meant to be something else. Possibly it's meant to be assembled in a different way. But that seemed the most logical to me. It's really cool. I love his hairpiece. It's, um, it's very cool. His his body printing is very lavish as uh, as the collectors want to be, and his cape, like it looks very tattered. I know it's meant to be plush and kind of like look very sort of upper class, but um, I don't know. It just looks slightly tattered, which I kind of love. And then we have Daredevil, who comes with transparent like lightsaber bits, which are fine. But I'd have thought they'd have probably gone with solid red, but I don't know maybe. Printing in solid red would have taken longer or been more expensive or something. But anyway, 
Daredevil's looking pretty cool. He's got his uh, Daredevil logo printed on his chest there, along with ab stuff. He's got some leg printing, and he's got back printing as well. He's a pretty simple character, no like headpieces or capes or anything, and I quite like him. Daredevil's definitely one of my favourite characters. Now, we are on to uh, a one minifigure that I can compare to official. So, this is Magneto in the... I want to say the Sentinel Chase or the Sentinel Fight set. Uh, that was one of the first to be released. I never bought it, but came with him and Storm and I think like one or two others. And he's got a semi kind of like comic book look, but not quite the one I remember because the one I have uh, is the sort of, is the one that I remember the most, which is the red and purple one, which I really like. But this one's pretty cool. Um, his, the purple on his helmet's not quite as dark and it doesn't seem quite as detailed, but it's pretty cool. I mean, his body is detailed on the back. He's got a red cape instead of purple. Uh, really, sort of, it's the inverse of his proper one. And uh, as you can see, he has the, the like, round silver thing that he stands on, the official one comes with. And a weird, like... I'm assuming it's meant to be the magnetic force that he's using, but it looks a bit weird because uh, it's transparent. And also, another one I can show you a comparison to is Wolverine, who, uh, well, this is the cowled version, as you can see, and also wearing the brown outfit, which I quite like, uh, back printing and stuff, and it has the claws. I can't take his hat off because obviously he's got the same issue. Um, but yeah, that's the cowled version. I've also got the uncowled version uh, on his bike. And what's pretty cool, the official one has the little thing, so it shows that he definitely has the cowl, he's just not wearing it at the moment. But yeah, there's not much discrepancy really, I mean this could probably pass for official. I don't know if they've actually made an official cowled uh, Wolverine, they probably have. He Actually he may have come in the Sentinel Chase one, uh, or I may just be lying and I've got that wrong. Anyway, so... Um, now, as you can see, there are five left. These are the larger minifigures, so like an inch or two, well, not maybe an inch taller. So I'm going to start with my least favourite and work my way up to my favourite. So we'll start with Ultimate Green Goblin. Um, now, I really like this guy, and the sculpt is super good, as you can tell. There's details galore on this guy. And uh, his articulation, unfortunately, is just uh, arm and wrist. Which is a shame, I'd really like to have leg articulation for guys like this to make like a really cool pose, but unfortunately that's the that them's the breaks, I suppose, is his head printing's pretty good. Um but yeah, overall he's just a really cool guy. It's just I don't have much love for uh, Ultimate Green Goblin, admittedly. Next up is the Juggernaut, who would place a lot higher because I, I love the Juggernaut, he really is cool. But his head looks a bit odd. I'm, I guess they're going for like the Lego semi chibi kind of thing and I'm not sure if the face is what official Lego would have gone with. I think they'd have made her a bit... I don't know, like they'd have changed the eyes a bit I think. But anyway, and also the armbands are a bit... they're okay but like the sides are very flesh coloured uh, and it ruins it a bit. But no, I mean overall he's a really cool minifigure as well, it's just the head bothers me slightly. It should be like longer, tapered, more, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just wrong, maybe I'm just remembering him in, you know, sort of falsely. Anyway, next up is Venom, who, if I may point out, has an embossed spider, uh, as in it's raised from his torso, along with his eyes being sunk and the, uh, the familiar spider thing in his back. And he comes with black webbing as well, as I've uh, wrapped around his hands there. He's the same deal as the other two, no head articulation, just arms and wrists. But he's really cool. I um, I really like Venom, and I'm glad that like they made a large, bulky version, because there is a minifig version, I think, which is just cool. It's got like the tentacles and stuff around him, but I don't know, I just prefer bulky Venom. He's like angrier and more menacing, I feel. Next up is Groot. Now, he would be number one, um, but there's no head articulation or leg articulation. He does have arm and wrist articulation, as, yeah, as you can see. But, yeah, I mean, he's really well sculpted and stuff. Um, 
although his face is printed on, which is a bit odd, because, like, the rest of him, he's got the, like... He's got details there, but not on his face, which is a bit annoying. On the back, he's got, like, a spiky bit, uh, which is cool. I mean, yeah, he's a really good-looking minifig, and, as you can see, a lot taller than the other ones, actually. He's... He's pretty darn big, but then, you know, he's meant to be, which, uh... Which is nice, they sort of kept a canon. And the piece de resistance of this entire thing is Hulkbuster Iron Man. He is really cool. I can't even begin to say just how damn cool he is. He doesn't have leg articulation either, which is a bit surprising. But he has incredible arm articulation. So he's got one there, which is kind of elbow articulation. And he has wrist articulation as well. Uh, and obviously he doesn't have head articulation. But like... I don't know, the detail put into him really impresses me. Uh, and, like, even stuff like that on the back. And the pauldrons, which you can move and stuff. Like, I don't know, he's a really impressive figure. And also, I'm pretty sure Lego are never going to make this, which is why I had to buy the bootleg. Because Lego, uh, they released a Hulkbuster recently, which is this. Which is a very large one that fits a uh, Iron Man minifig inside. As you can tell, he's quite a lot bigger than the Hulk minifig. Um, and obviously they they seem to be going with uh, movie licenses more than comic books. So it's unlikely we'll ever see anything like this anyway. I mean, I may be wrong. This may actually be an official mould that they've just copied. But this seems to be a custom. And uh, I don't know. I really love it. Like, I'm I'm super pleased with a lot of these, in fact. Got them for a fairly cheap price. I managed to win and bid uh, an auction on eBay for less than twelve pound. Obviously, you may end up paying more or less, depends, you know, how lucky you are with the auction. But I mean, if you're a big fan of comic book, uh, you know, minifigs and sort of just want the minifigs as opposed to the set. I mean, you know, it's morally dubious whether one should even buy bootlegs and stuff like that. But personally speaking, if it's for like minifigs, like the Hulk or Australian Man or Juggernaut, or like, stuff like that, then I personally think it's worth picking up if, if these interest you. Um, so that about does it, really, for this uh, for this sort of foray into bootleg Lego in my last two videos. I haven't bought any recently, uh, I don't really have much room. Um, but if I ever do end up buying any more bootleg Lego, I shall, in of course, make a video. And of course, I will be making a video of this when I open it up and find enough room and stuff but until next time thank you very much for watching and goodbye